Well, thanks again for joining me as we take a look at yet another iconic British classic motorcycle right here in my world of classic dirt bikes. Now this uh, particular featured machine is Ian Stainton's 1979-520 short stroke 2 valve CCM. Now naturally of course this is not an original machine from that particular year because as well you know finding original and unabused examples of these iconic clues race bikes is nigh on impossible and if any of these bikes from the early 70s were to surface above the radar you would almost certainly need to sell your house to buy one Now Ian of course built this uh, very nice uh, bike using what he had currently available to him although the frame is a period replica built by Joe Maxwell at Joe Maxwell Engineering in Thornhill, Dumfries. Of course naturally after the frame was constructed it was then uh, chrome plated. Now these very nice uh, 1979 uh, Joe Maxwell built frames of course are made under license from CCM and uh, Joe Maxwell Engineering also specialise in making all the parts needed for a, a 1974 repli replica uh, CCM bike. Now the motor is a 520cc uh, engine and Ian built this using the parts that he could get wherever he could although the barrel on this particular engine had been lying in a workshop unused since 1995. Now naturally before the barrel was used it received a brand new liner which was then subsequently coated with a new Nicosil coating before a new piston was fitted to the motor. Now all the engine's internals including the crankshaft, gearbox and clutch are all high quality parts from PES or uh, Performance Engineering Services who are of course based in South Yorkshire who specialise in the manufacture and distribution of many of the parts for these classic CCM motorcycles. Now the fuel tank is an alloy uh, replica of course of the original 1979 uh, part and of course when it is painted in this lovely gold colour it certainly is indistinguishable from the original CCM item. Now the CCM clutch cover seen in this picture is also manufactured by Joe Maxwell Engineering. Now all the plastics including the front and rear mudguards and left and right side panels and the CCM seat are all period replicas of the original model and are all manufactured by Keith Barnes at uh, Cumbria Classic Mouldings. Now naturally because this is a brand new machine the front and rear wheels are all brand new and both these high quality Akron rims have been laced onto these very nice PES front and rear brake hubs. Now one of the most surprising things about this uh, featured bike is that the front end is not an original set of CCM forks of course but a pair of forks from a 1986 Honda CR250. Now of course the top and bottom triple clamps are also from that uh, very same 86 Honda CR machine. Now 
Now in the rear suspension department of course Ian has opted for the best uh, quality money can buy and has went for a pair of these superb Olin's uh, piggyback rear shocks. Now Ian used a set of Trials Raptor footrests on his CCM as these are more or less a bolt on affair once you make the bracket and are of course are excellent quality. Now in this shot you can see the quality of the frame build on this swinging arm of course made by Joe Maxwell Engineering. Uh, Ian's bike also uses this lovely uh, Talon rear sprocket. Now normally these CCMs used an internal filtration system whereby any foreign bodies trapped in the oil are caught in the little gauze filter connected to the bottom rail of the frame. Although Ian has went that bit further on his bike and fitted this much more efficient paper cartridge external system which is of course is easier to service and better at stopping any foreign bodies entering the lubrication system. And there we have a much better view of those very good and very high quality Trials Raptor footrests. Now the handlebars are just uh, off the shelf uh, Renthal high bend uh, handlebars and the remainder of the control systems including the Magura levers and all the other associated cables are all top quality off the shelf uh, motocross parts. Now naturally Ian used the very best quality fasteners he could to put his uh, big CCM together and in fact Ian told me that he did use a limited amount of titanium nuts and bolts on uh, various parts of this uh, lovely motorcycle. Now when it came to the tyres, uh, Ian used a 21 inch Michelin on the front wheel and a Midas 18 inch tyre on the rear. Now of course these uh, 1979 replica CCMs are still very competitive machines on the racetracks around the UK. And uh, if you get the right rider on board one of these uh, superb Allen Clues derived machines, these machines are capable of uh, beating anything in their class on the day. Now I've always said in previous videos here on my YouTube channel that uh, if a bike looks right then it goes right. And uh, this bike that Ian's built looks uh, absolutely stunning. Now Ian never really told me who made the exhaust system for this bike but uh, I am assuming that this is another Joe Maxwell engineering ex exhaust system because I know that Joe makes these systems for the 1974 replica machines. So there you have it, Ian Stainton's lovely 1979 520 2 valve CCM. Of course not an original bike of that particular year, but as I said, early original 79 machines are almost impossible to find. But look out for this bike strutting its stuff on the racetrack in the next video to be posted right here on my YouTube channel.